Hey y'all, good morning. It is Friday. Um, ignore this. I can't really pull my hair up any tighter because if you follow me on Snapchat, I almost cut my thumb off. Um, I was making dinner and um, I was making hamburger casserole. If you don't know what it is, it's, I think most people call it hamburger potato casserole. It's just like sliced potatoes with some browned hamburger meat or, or turkey ground, whatever. But, um, I was doing that and I pulled out my mandolin that my mama bought me. And this is not the first time I've used it. But for some reason, my finger was a lot closer than it should have been. I don't know what in the world happened. But the first cut when I went down... It went up into my my finger, and it was it's like sort of behind my fingernail, but then across the side it goes up onto the side. So, um, like there is, let's see if I can sort of show you, there is like a cut that's going across the middle ways of my, <coughs> <coughs> uh, across my fingernail. So, anytime that I apply pressure to it at all, it hurts. So, I haven't been able to put any pressure to it. Plus, I have a wedding tomorrow. And this happened Wednesday. Yeah, this happened Wednesday. So, and it's still sore. Nowhere near as sore. So, hopefully by tomorrow, it'll be really good. Because, how am I supposed to do hair? And I can't use my thumb. I can't even pull my own hair up hardly. So, but this looks pretty decent. You know, I've been learning how to how to not have to use it. But Cody just went and picked up Walnut. He's been traveling. The ladies watching. Salmon rolls are done. Cody to come back and I'm gonna let those cinnamon rolls <laughs> cool off because they are hot um, so we okay what we have planned this weekend um, what do we have planned this weekend so tonight we have a little get together like bonfire type deal with our Sunday school class that's at 7 I'm really excited about that I love our Sunday school class. Um, I've never learned in a Sunday school class before. And I know that sounds crazy because school, you know, kind of implies you're learning something. <laughs> but <clears throat> in all my life, I have never went to a Sunday school class and actually left with knowledge or already, or not just that, but just sort of like a prequel for um before like service like it's already preparing you like sometimes i felt like sunday school was sort of like how can i say this like not important or as if it was a waste of time i know that sounds horrible but it's like i can be getting ready in that time i don't have to be there that early because and the simple reason why is because i wasn't getting anything out of any sunday school i'd ever been to and it did feel like a waste of time so, <clears throat> this is the best Sunday school ever. Like, I don't care if I have to do my makeup in the car on the way there. Like, I'm getting to Sunday school. Like, I love our Sunday school class. But, um, it prepares us for the service that, um, the preacher has prepared. And I'm one of those people, I gotta get warmed up. And music is normally what, um, you know, like, prepares me for a service. But having that even before we start singing, it's just even preparing me for singing. It's getting me in the right place to stand up there and to be able to sing for God and, and to sing these songs for our congregation. So, um, <clears throat> I love Sunday school. Um, love our church in general. Like, you just feel so much love when you walk in. So, that's what's happening tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I have a wedding, like I said. Um, I do have quite a bit of candles burning this morning. Smells amazing. Pumpkin apple. Leaves. Lady, do you remember what the other one's called? Cranberry woods, I think. So it smells amazeballs in this house right now. So yeah, that's all. I can't deal with the whining all day. Can you stop please, ma'am? Ma'am. Good morning. 
Good morning. Thank you, Lord, for this food we're about to see. And bless you for your nourishment, everybody. In first, all the name we pray. Amen. Amen. Meanwhile, ladies laying down here at our feet. Hoping something drops. enough I got this scarf from the Dollar Tree there's a dead animal but I got this scarf from the Dollar Tree I bought two of them and just put them put them together so it'd be longer but how pretty is this print and it's not really that sheer and I love like the yellow mustardy color love it yeah thought that was really nice I never buy the scarves from Dollar Tree because it just always looks so like see-through and cheap looking but that one we're in business we're supposed to stop and get something to take to this little bonfire thing for church. Have no idea. Mama was going to make some sweet potato tarts. Then she started making them. She's like, I just don't think I'm going to have enough. So I ain't going I ain't gonna bring them. I'm like, Mama, quit being stingy. If you don't bring them, then we're going to have to eat them at the house. So, I don't know what I'm going to stop and get. Maybe a pizza. Would that be smart? No, what? A pizza. Just bring a large pizza. <laughs> Order a pizza. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. What did she say to bring? She just said bring something. I guess it's like a covered dish. Too. Darn. So I don't know. I don't know what everybody's bringing. I guess I'm going to text Ruth and see what if they're going and if they're, what they're bringing so we know what to do. So... But we'll check in when we get closer to the house. You just go ahead, because if you don't, uh, they'll get mad with you. Yeah, little yeah. Little branches, just like a little string Because we're supposed to know this, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's it. I'm bad with names. I'm better with faces. Hi. Um. We thoroughly enjoyed our evening at the bonfire with the church. I did get a few clips of that, and I'm that that was before this. We are back at Mama's, chilling out. Um, we have been killing this strawberry lemonade. Don't Straight know. killing it. I don't know what they did to it. It had oranges in it and strawberries, and it literally is the best lemonade of life. Weren't it, Mama? I'm on my way. Sheen it on my way. What? Like, we had probably three cups of it. So, Sheen it on my way. Oh, it's just so good. But, um, I'm getting ready to go to bed here shortly. I'm about to calculate up how long it's going to take me to get to the wedding place. Just going to say good night. Check in. Farewell until we meet again. What is it? So long. Farewell. How does it go, Mama? So long, farewell. Until we meet again. That's not it. It goes into it. No, it goes. James, what is it? That song. So long, farewell. Don't I say something in French or something? Huh? Alvita's saying goodbye. So long, farewell. Alvita's saying goodbye. That it? James knows everything. He knows everything. James knows unnecessary information. <laughs> I don't understand. Thanks, James. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Peace. Good morning. Um... I know I have this shirt on again that was <laughs> um, this was I had this outfit at mama's and it's really comfortable and it's warm because I didn't bring anything long sleeves to wear and um it is 57 degrees outside and I'm like got the hiccups or burps or something anyway I'm on the way to the wedding am I scared yes 
um, because I hadn't planned on driving. I had my fingers crossed that Cody was going to drive for me. Him did not. So um, I'm here at this little stop. I think they're moving trees or whatever. I don't think the road's messed up. So I'm hoping the way that I have decided to go is gonna be okay. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and see um, when I let y'all see. Or you ain't really seen anything, but just to let y'all know what's going on. I am nervous about driving, but I know that God helps me drive this vehicle. So, him's hands on the wheel. And we're just going to take 95, which y'all, um, here I just went up. I was a little hot. Um, which um, I've talked about was underwater, and it was like, um, I think it was like from exit 13 all the way to like can't even remember it was like a long way down 95 it was completely closed it was all flooded with water um none of it washed out from from my understanding i don't think any of it washed out um so but they finally opened it this past week so we're going to take 95 because i just figured it would be the most open the most open way because i don't want to get because <clears throat> i know back ways to get there but that's mainly where all those roads were washed out and i don't want to take that chance Especially, um, not just because I'm scared, but I don't want to get down all the way to a certain point and have to turn back around and go a different way and then be late. I'm getting ready to come into Lumberton here shortly. Hopefully, I don't see anything. Um, and I'm just able to go about my business. I'm super sad. I left my coffee at Mama's house. Very sad. I have a little bottle of water that was left from yesterday. Thankfully, it was cold outside, so the, the water's cool. Oh. I have a whole case of water back there. I just remembered. <laughs> I didn't take it out. Well, I do got water, guys. We're in we're in business. I just thought about that, and it's still back there. We're in business, people. Anyway, if I can, I'll check in when I get to the wedding. I want to show y'all some clips of this um, venue. I did a wedding there maybe a month or so ago, and I did talk about it um, on a vlog, and I never got any any footage. But I really hope that I can today. Um, just because I want y'all to see how pretty it is. I'll be in St. Paul's, which if any of you follow Love Meg or Hickman vlogs, then y'all know that I will be in their neighborhood today. Wish I had time because I so totally would like try to find them somewhere. <laughs> so we're like, hey y'all, y'all know me, but you don't know me, but you kind of know me. It's so weird when you watch people's vlogs and you feel like you know them, but you've never in life met them in life. So it's a little weird because you really don't know them. So yeah, but anyway, I'm going go ahead and get done rambling so I can pay attention. Here's your two favorite ladies of life. We're leaving the wedding. Cody is right oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are. What is Mama doing? I'm trying to get Cody's laugh us, Shern. Bye, Cody. Him laugh us. Well, we're going this one's the smoking a cigarette. Oh, fuck a tash. A cigarette. <laughs> oh, <for> my. <laughs> same, same, same. Oh, God. Okay. The many voices Wait. of Sarah's <laughs> song. <laughs> Stupid. But you love me. Oh, gosh. I really thought this was still going to be underwater today when mm. I come by here. We're passing the... Watching the white gnomes. <laughs> he's a trying. We're passing the um, Board of Education. And they've they've been taking all the stuff out of there. I forgot to look. They're taking... You see all those cars and stuff? Mm -hmm. All of them are underwater, not in the more good. All the engines is stalled. Once that water gets into a certain part of the engine, the it's... electrical part of it. It's, it's no more. So all those all those public schools, vehicles back there. What is he doing? He's a pulling over to let us in front of him. Bless him, heart. Shining in law. Watch him. Fuck a <laughs> Where him go? Did you 
you see how many people stand out there today? Yeah, there was a bunch of people you know what? out at DSS. Was they giving something away? That's where they're doing the emergency food stamps. Oh. Uh, so they've decided to do emergency food stamps mm -hmm. for the area if you don't have food stamps. If you don't already get food stamps. Or the ones that So for food, people that lost all their food in their um, refrigerators and stuff from the hurricane, they are going to give them emergency food stamps for them to replace all their food, which is great. We're not getting any, me and Cody, because we didn't lose our current was still on. But Mom and them lost all their food. So, she's going to go Monday and get that citrum awaited. Mm -hmm. But, um, tonight, we're, we got to go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a tash. Yes. And we are going to purchase some last minute things for tomorrow's meal, which we are having. Chicken and pastry. Chicken casserole, green bean casserole, a lot of casseroles. Yeah. Green bean casserole. I was gonna do chicken salad, but I forgot. To we having a man. we having a bread? Well, your paste is your bread. It ain't bread. I guess I'll do a cornbread. Yeah, fried. We don't need the fried cornbread. God, heavy. Well, I'd have to get meal. I'm out of meal because I don't meal. like. I like the fine ground. She's fancy, guys. No, I don't like my bread swelled up and it swells up like if you do. Then I got Jiffy. You can do Jiffy. No, yeah, we're going to have that that fried. You going to help me fried? No. <laughs> then you ain't going to have it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get some stuff for tomorrow, but we're also getting some stuff for this evening because it is currently 61 degrees. I believe it's cooler than that. It is a lot cooler than that. We're loving this weather. The only thing we're not loving is that we did not have a coat for that outdoor ceremony. I was going to bring my coat, but as I was packing stuff, Cody was making fun of me like it weren't going to be that cold. But he was a shiver in his little butt off sitting out there at that ceremony. So I bet and he, he didn't even bring anything. I bet he wishes. I bet he wishes. I bet he wishes that he would have had a coat. But I did pack him long sleeves, so he better be thankful. But now tomorrow for church, he's got a short sleeve shirt. So, he's just going to have to man up. Dee weedy. I got short sleeves too tomorrow. A little flimsy little dress. Why? I'm wearing leggings and boots. I don't know why I'm making a list, but I just like it. Oh, but right now we're going to get, since it's so cold, so totally got off track. Since it's so cold, we're going to get some hot chalky. And my head's itching. And some tooties. And some milk. And we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus. Halloween movies. First Hocus Pocus. Okay, the haunted house is tears. open. Don't tear on me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will have tears to scare the face No, honey. I went with a, a group of people a couple years ago to that haunted um, trail ride. I did, of course, I didn't go to the trail. I sat in the vehicle. It was me and somebody else. I can't remember. Everybody else went in. But them joke was already coming out to the vehicle. Was Jessica one of them? No, I want to say it was Kayla Lewis and all of them. Mm. And I said, lies you tell. I want you little devils to come out here where I'm at. I'm going to close your head up in one of these doors. Obviously, if we're out here in the car, we didn't want to see you. So don't come out your way to come and look at us. We don't want to see you. We ain't got nothing to do with you, buddy. Hey guys, we're about to go to sleep. I wanted to go oops, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and end the vlog cuz I didn't know how much footage and I know sometimes um I get some comments about long vlogs. So, let me know down in the comments below whether oh god, whether you like the long vlogs or do you want me to keep them short? Do you like 20 minute vlog or you're like a nine minute vlog. Just let me know. Lady, gonna tell good night. Gonna tell good night, little girl. Alright, guys. Mr. Locklear's coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. Good night, y'all.